Hi guys and welcome to another bowler review. So today we'll be reviewing uh, our local bowler, our Singaporean bowler, Sean. So Sean here, it's uh, maybe I just let the video play while we record. So Sean here is a two-handed bowler, lefty. And as you can see while he's bowling, Sean is actually a pretty decent bowler. So he has a decent ball speed as I've written the ball speed at the top. Uh, right hand corner you will see that I've written there like 22 kilometers or around 13.6 miles per hour so just for a little bit so Sean gave me a recording of I think all his shots uh, let me zoom out a little bit yep here so he gave me a recording of all his shots here okay then this one went into the gutter so he has a little bit of issue with uh, his ball control. Sean mentions that his higher score is above 200, I think 240s, but his average is only about 130s. So quite a pretty low average for a bowler of his uh, physical game. So let's see how we can help Sean out, right? So first and foremost is uh, when he's standing here, right? So I believe Sean can stand a lot straighter. So you can see here that he has his uh you know his knees bent and his back is like leaning forward, right? So what we want to do here is actually to stand uh straighter with your knee straight. So keep your stance straight and keep your back straight as well. The reason for that is that we want to maximize our the effect of the weight transfer when we lean forward. So what I mean by weight transfer is as we lean forward, right? As we go into the ball placement and lean forward. If you're standing from a neutral position, leaning forward, you'll get the, the maximum efficiency of you, you the get maximum efficiency of the momentum generated as you lean forward. So if you're already leaning forward here during the stance, um there's a limited amount that you can lean further forward, correct? Because you can't obviously you can't go like uh like parallel to the floor, right? You your fall face first into the floor. So the body actually knows there's a limit. And if you are already leaning forward, there's just a limited amount the body can go forward uh, as you go into your approach. So that reduces the efficiency of your weight transfer and reduces the amount of momentum you can generate. So this is why we will advise uh, bowlers to you know, stand tall during the stance. So stand straight. Okay, next up. So another thing I noticed is that uh, Sean here doesn't slide. He's a planter as well. You can see at the last step. So if you can go frame by frame, right? As we go frame by frame, then you can see he lands heel first. So we zoom in. Yep. So he lands heel first. You can see the, the impact point of his heel. So he lands heel first. And then he lands heel and then toe, heel to toe. So because of that, he doesn't slide. You can see the like his heel is a little bit warm up, worn out, or have his shoe there is a little bit raised as well. Um, so you can see the heels are worn out from you no know, continuously stepping on the heels instead of landing with the front of his toes. So if he doesn't land with the front of his toes, he couldn't slide. So this also reduces the his uh, efficiency of his weight transfer. So if he can't have a very efficient, um. No, it reduces his momentum generated because if you, if you don't slide, right? So the amount of momentum uh, that you generate forward will be limited. So since it's limited, then you can't get as much ball speed as you possibly can, which is an issue for two-handers as well. Because the two-handers, you want to maximize as much ball speed as you can generate. Uh, ideally, I mean, even though his ball speed is pretty decent, around 22, we should be aiming for at least around 25 to 27. Obviously, if you can go even faster, like 30 kilometers per hour would be great. But I think around 26, 27 will be an ideal ball speed to have for two-handers. So to, to solve that, uh, I want bowlers like Sean to practice landing on the front of uh, the ball of your sliding foot. So that means landing with the, on the toe side in front instead. From here, it looks like his weight transfer is actually pretty good. So you can see here, he has more than enough spine tilt forward. Because we don't get a side view, what I suspect is that his uh legs right are going too far in front of his body rather than staying under his body so if you go too far in front of the body you tend to land heel first 
but it's also a habit that can be easily be changed by forcing yourself to you know, slide continuously. And once your body gets used to sliding, uh, you feel more comfortable with sliding and then you will be able to repeat it consistently. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, what I like about Sean's game, okay, okay, let's take a look at his finishing position first. His finishing position is not too bad. So if we zoom out a little bit, as you can see here, finishing position, he has his uh, balance arm straight out, uh, his trailing foot, no, is well extended, very good decent knee bend, and he tilts his body to the bowling side, having his shoulder, bowling shoulder lower than a non-bowling shoulder. So all in all, his finishing position is pretty good. The only complaint is that he lands on his heel, rather than on the front of his uh, sliding foot. So finishing position is pretty good. Um, and I also like uh, Sean's, what I like about Sean's game is his tempo as well. So if we zoom out, you can see that his tempo is actually pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five, All right? So his swing speed and his last three steps are pretty quick, right? So we should repeat again. So if you see, this is normal speed, right? At 1x speed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So his swing speed is pretty decently quick. His uh, foot speed is also decently quick. Um, what I would like Sean to do for a bowler like Sean, right, is to drive the ball forward here. That means uh, he has a little bit too much tension in his body, as you can see from his uh, bent elbow here. So bent elbow in the backswing. And his overall look of his body, right, looks like he's actually quite tense. Like here as well, you can see that, okay, let's look at his pre-shot routine. Huh? You can see that he's quite tense just from the pre-shot routine alone. Okay, so it took like his pre-shot routine. So he's like trying to get under the ball, right? And he, he overall looks tense, right? Like he, he has a tension in his, in his thighs here. So there's tension here in his thighs, right? And uh, there is, I believe there's quite a bit of tension in his shoulders as well, because I can see that, you know, let's see. Yeah, there's a bit of tension here in the shoulders. So tension here in his shoulders. I can't see his uh, right shoulder, but I suppose there's tension in the shoulders. There's also kind of like tension in the lower back, like around here in the lower back as well, because of the fact that he's leaning forward. So he's not, he's not as relaxed as he could possibly be. A lot of tension in the system. And even as he goes in, right, as he goes into the backswing, you can see that there's tension in the, like, the upper arm. Tension in the upper arm as well, which is why he couldn't really, like, extend his uh, backswing a little bit more. Can't really extend it, so there's some tension in his backswing as well. So, yeah, if he, if he can relax his, um, you know, all the unnecessary muscles a bit better, tell himself to just relax, relax, relax before he proceeds on with his shot, then he will release a little bit of tension in his body and he can have a smoother shot and more consistent shot. So other than that, uh, what I would like bowlers like Sean to do is to drive the ball forward. So by driving the ball forward means that at the top of the backswing, right, if you feel, once you feel that the ball is at the top of the backswing, around here, as you go into the swing, like, go into the power set, you feel like the ball is in the, is in the top of the backswing, then you want to drive the ball forward and onto the lane. Maybe this kind is a bit difficult. So you want to drive the ball forward on, forward and project onto the lane. So by using a little bit of force, that means feeling, Feeling the back of the, the palm, uh, feeling the palm on your ball, and then palming and driving the ball forwards, right? A adding like speed to like the adding speed and momentum towards the ball so that the ball will go forward faster. So even though yes, it is using a little bit of strength, but um, what we want to do is to you know have as least tension as we can while still having a high ball speed and good projection of the ball down the lane. So this is definitely going to help. That means uh, to feel the ball at the top of the swing. And then once the ball is at the top of the swing, drive the ball forward with your pump, right? Driving it forward and then have the, giving the ball more momentum and more acceleration forward. So I feel like uh, Sean is not doing that well enough. So his ball speed is a bit lacking, but his uh, swing speed and his last three steps are pretty fast. 
So he can definitely actually speed up the, his ball a little bit more if he drives it forward a bit faster. And uh, if he could relax his uh, body systems a little bit more so that he can have a bit of a faster swing speed. So if he sw swing, swings a little bit faster, then they'll be good. In terms of consistency, okay, I can't really see how Sean is holding the ball, but I believe I can't see his non-bowling hand. So I can't see his non-bowling hand. I don't know how Sean is positioning his hand in front, but I suspect that Sean's non-bowling hand, right, his right hand, isn't as under the ball as he possibly can have it. Because from here to here, right, I can't really see the fingers of his right hand. Can we see here? Okay, then zoom in. Yeah, so you can see that his fingers of his non-bowling hand, right, is not under the ball at all. So his fingers of his non-bowling hand is here, around here, and it's not in. It's not intersecting with his uh, bowling bowling hands fingers. So ideally, right, the fingers should intersect a little bit around here. So the bowling the non-bowling hand should go a little bit deeper in, so that it can support the ball a little bit better. So he's not having a very good grip on his bowling ball with his non-bowling hand. So both his Bowling hand and his non bowling hand can actually go a little bit deeper and their fingers can overlap and intersect a little bit so they have better control of the ball during the swing. So that is something that he can improve on as well so that they have better ball control. Um, anything else? Hmm, switching is pretty good. So once he improves on those, his next step would be to you no. Know, if he can start driving the ball forwards, and then his next step will be to increase his tempo, so to speed up his uh, last three steps and his uh, the tempo of his swing once he starts his placement. So I like that he takes his first two steps a little bit slow, right? So he walks his first two steps very slowly. This is actually good. So slow and calm first two steps, and then you only accelerate once you have started placing your ball, then you should accelerate forward. You increase the swing speed after the ball placement. So once you place the ball, increase the swing speed and the weight transfer forward. So it's once you place the ball here, then you should increase your swing speed and weight transfer forward at this point onwards. So the first two steps should be slow. Hmm. I wanted to comment on something, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, how he holds the ball. Okay. So I noticed that actually Sean is holding his ball, uh, he's having a lot of his ball weight, right, over on this side. So that promotes actually too much turn. So for a lefty like Sean, right, I believe actually having the ball go more forward roll, like more end over end roll is actually better rather than having so much axis rotation. So if you look at his shot, he goes around the ball a fair bit because of how he holds onto the ball, right, like when he places. His, uh, his ball weighs a lot on his thumb side. So you can see that his ball weighs a lot on his thumb side here. And that really promotes turning of the ball. Right? So if that promotes turning of the ball, he's going to... Sean is turning the ball a little bit too much for the line that he's bowling. So he's bowling actually quite a direct line. And if he turns the ball so much, you can see here that he misses his spare. Right? Because he turns his spare ball a bit too much here. Yep, so he goes around the spare ball a bit too much. So for all of Sean's strike and spare shots, right? Um, I believe what you should do is actually have the ball, the ball weight placed more evenly on his palm. Like rather than having the ball weight weigh so much on his thumb side, um, he should have his palm like get more under the ball right here. So his palm should be a little bit more under the ball here, so that the his palm can be more behind the ball, and then that will reduce his axis rotation. And uh, it will be a better, sort of like better entry angle. His ball can go a little bit further. Uh, doesn't hook as much. So that it doesn't turn as much. And it can go a little bit better, straighter as well. You can play it some straighter lines. Let's see this shot. Yeah, you can see that he turns. Well, yeah, there's quite a lot of axis rotation. A little bit too much. So you could actually nerf or nerf or, or lower the axis rotation a little bit then that will actually help him better for a left-handed bowler. Because as a lefty, you're playing a lot of uh, this kind of very tight lines because normally lefties don't play too deep in. So if you're playing like this kind of line, right, all you need is about 
probably 20 to 30 degrees of axis rotation. Um, you generally do not need like 45 degrees of axis rotation that Sean is uh, using here. Yep. So less axis rotation, more behind the ball. That would actually give him better chance of uh, no, staying in control of his line and striking more. goes quite around the ball but other than that actually Sean is a pretty good bowler so I expect him to improve a lot more from uh, here on onwards and yeah it's pretty good so he can definitely increase his tempo increase his ball control um no uh increase uh improve his slide and also to drive the ball a little bit more forward okay so that's it so uh thank you for sending in this video Sean and if you guys like to send in a video as well you can send it in to my various social media links or to my email as well uh, you can contact me at whatsapp at my number listed in the video description below okay thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time